Thanks for rolling up. I'm too bad Marty and Sir Fire Pirate. Spoke a what about uh evening blunts. Oh. We gotta go. We're trying to get to Bird Club. Ten thousand subscribers by March. In order to do that, we need the R T and U. Run those numbers up. Break that up, subscribe, twist up those like buttons, baby. Let's go ahead, jump into uh today's video, man. Uh we've been th we've been waiting down here in uh in Florida for them to get uh recreational um going on. Um from what I understand, the legislation is now getting ready to start some shit where they uh trying to change some medical things. I mean, I ain't got a medical card, but if they start fucking with that, that might be something for us to pay attention to. Let's jump. Let's jump, let's jump in, bro. 614 now, we're hearing from a doctor this morning about a bill that would change the state's medical marijuana program. Florida's legislative session begins today, and this is one of the bills to watch as lawmakers try to push it through. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott is live in Tampa now, finding out how it could impact millions of Floridians. Good morning, Larissa. Yeah, see, um... Yeah, see, I don't know what they're trying to do. They're trying to change something. People have already been complaining about, uh the um marijuana program down here where like like for me the shit already costs too much like it costs so much to get a medical card that i don't even want y'all to get one um you gotta keep renewing the shit all quick um yeah what are, what are they trying to do are they are the, are the changes they gonna do like are they gonna be helpful or are they gonna try to like fuck this shit up some more Hi, good morning, Dia. And the bill's sponsors tell me this would clean up Florida's medical marijuana program, making it much more practical and convenient for people who need it. Okay. This is the first, like, moderate proposal that just improves the program in a variety of ways. House Bill 679 would change Florida's medical... All right, everybody. House, House Bill 679. <laughs> so, that's, that's a weird-ass bill name. Yo. I just put the bill together, bro. It's called 679, bro. It's the weed bill. The 679 bill is about that dank. Well, cannabis program. It would reduce costs for people by requiring less doctor's visits, allow patients to keep their registration cards for two years instead of one, and give people the option to use telehealth to refill their... Yo, that's dope, bro. All right, so they're going to they gonna bring the cost down, change, change the uh, registration card from six months to two years and allow you to get your prescription over the telephone i mean well 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 with the with the with the with the uh the own owns they um they've been everything been telehealth um that's probably why they just i mean pushing that through with the two years joint that's gonna be smooth bro because both my homies, they got their cards. Them shits lapsed to six months. And they was like, man, fuck that. I'm not redoing that shit. Damn, that's one of the reasons why. Another reason I ain't want to grab that bitch. Because I'm going to pay X, now I mean, up front. And then in uh, every six months, I have to pay Y just to keep that bitch. Then depending on how long I want to keep that shit, it's going to be the equal Z. So that equal Z can be anywhere, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they're talking about. Prescriptions. It's about access. You know, um, it's about making things more affordable for people. I think more people, you know, one of the problems that we've had is that some people just can't afford the doctor's appointments in the frequency. Ultimately, it's reducing the cost on the patient by about 60% or more. House Bill 679 also regulates the use and sale of Delta 8, a marijuana product with less THC. It is still Okay, hold on. Now, now they want some other shit. Now they're talking about... Adding us uh, shit in here that's going to fuck up the free market a little bit because that Delta 8, um, shit, that's not, that's not THC. But now they're going to try to slide that in there. We try to regulate that too. <sighs> well, what's, what's, the, what's the game, bro? The game is give a little, take a little, bro. Let's see what the equals is. Legal, we're just changing some definitions, making sure the products are safe, tested. Uh, and we're also limiting them to sale over the age of 21. Right now, there's no age limit. Okay. All right. 
I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at if that gets put in there because what they're not doing is they're not trying to say Delta is now I mean illegal. You know what I mean? Uh, the chase is not. No, that shit is illegal. They's just saying that uh, now that's just going to have to be sold to adults over 21. I'm I'm not I'm not mad at that because yeah, there ain't no there ain't no limit. You know what I mean? Anybody can buy that shit. So they're just going to put an age cap. I'm all right with that, bro. So children can buy this stuff. The bill sponsors say this legislation improves Florida's medical marijuana program in a way that makes things safer and more practical. Things like DUI testing and creating testing councils for that, making sure that products are safe and that uh, a hemp product, for example, like a CBD, really is a CBD. Right now, there's no uh, testing requirement pre-sale. Some advocates of this. So, so hold on, home, home, home slice, home slice. Are you trying to say that 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 people that got that uh hemp shit, that hemp CBD flower in the store, really got got real weed in them bitches, and they selling them shits for such a loss that it wouldn't even make sense to have that shit on the on the on the on the shelves. Man, get out of here, bro. That's that scene. That's that Halloween shit, bro. That shit that uh, they only know the house is just giving out the weed candy. But I can't find them bitches, no matter how hard I search. Bill say the biggest improvement that could come from the legislation is allowing telehealth. Especially in the pediatric population where I have patients all over the state. People, kids with special needs who just can't get in. We've also had some uh, patients as adults who have gone into hospice who couldn't get to the office anymore. So this would really benefit a lot of people. Yeah, everything, everything been telehealth. Well, not everything, but like a lot of shit been going, be going to the house since the uh, since the own owns. Yeah, bro. So just just involving that now, we'll just keep and keeping that going. Now I mean now ain't ain't yeah. That's 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 really just keeping business as usual. And some lawmakers feel confident that this bill will pass. We will of course keep you updated on its progress on abcactionnews.com. I'm like. Alright, so that car kind of help had me kinda of annoyed for nothing. That had me kinda of annoyed for nothing. We still we still uh may be able to get recreational pass in uh twenty two, but um we ain't gonna know unless that shit can make the ballot and I haven't heard definitively yet that it's gonna be on there. But I'll keep y'all posted as we go along on my highlight show, man. I'm out.